Hey everyone, I'm Kelsey from Wearable Whisperer, and in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Fitbit Sense 2. So here on the front of the box, we can see the By Google designation, because Fitbit is now officially owned by Google. And Fitbit calls this their health and fitness smartwatch. We also have an image of the specific color version that we purchased here on the front of the box. On the side of the box, it indicates that this does include a six-month Fitbit Premium membership. And on the other side, we see that I did order the soft gold aluminum case and blue mist infinity band, and this should include both small and large size bands. We also do see the little Google logo down here. And this is just the back of the box. And here on the bottom, we can see the little pull tab to open. And I will slide it out. And we have a little faint Fitbit logo here on the front of that box. And now I will open it up kind of like a book cover. So I have to say that is a very nice unboxing experience here. We have the Fitbit Sense 2 here in the middle. We have the extra large size band on this side and the charging cable here on the other side. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Fitbit Sense 2. So I'll go ahead and remove this little protective paper covering. All right, so there is the first look at the Fitbit Sense 2. That's the display. And this is the soft gold version. And we do have that haptic button. I'm very happy to see that back. And this is the Blue Mist Infinity Band, which I'll go ahead and unhook here. So here is the back of the device. And so this year they have opted to put these, um, I assume this is some sort of stainless steel or other type of metal that allows them to have the ECG feature. Last year there was the stainless steel ring around the device, but it looks like you might have to uh, hold on to the button here because that looks like similar material. So this is the side of the watch, the back of the watch, the other side of the watch, and we're back to the front of the watch. So I'll put that to the side for a moment and let's see the other things in the box. So this is the large size band. You can see it designated by the L slash G here on the bottom. And underneath that, we do have some paperwork. So we have a welcome to the Fitbit family. We have a quick start guide and some product information in several languages. And on this side, we have the charging cable. And there is some information if you're new to Fitbit and how to get started with the setup and pairing to your phone. If you do want to see me do that setup in real time, I'll have a video of that linked here at the end of this video. And so here is the charging cable. We can tear that off. It's kind of a nice packaging of the charging cable compared to previous years here. And this is the same exact charging cable that fits the original Fitbit Sense. We still have the USB type A here on one side and a little magnetic attachment here on the other side with the four gold charging pins. So how you would attach this is with the Fitbit on the back side, you will attach this on the left and it's just a magnetic attachment. You'll notice if you try to do it from the right side, you will feel that magnetic opposition force. It, it can only attach one way. So there's that. And I'll just show you here everything then that came inside the box. We get the Sense 2 with the small and large size bands, as well as the charging cable and the product information and quick start guide. So I'll take these out of the way and I'll just go ahead and show you here. They do have the small size band attached already. If you need to uh, put on the large size band or you want to try it or figure out how to change these bands, it's 
very simple. You just push on this little clasp, push it toward the band itself, and you should feel kind of a ability to pull out the band very easy. And then putting it in is so simple. All you do is line it up, make sure it's attached the right way. If you have the back side, you need to see the LG or SP designation there. And then you just slide it in. Super simple. So I'll show that again. You push it toward the band, and then you can just pull out and then just press in. So that is probably the easiest band changing mechanism I've ever experienced on any wearable. So high praise to Fitbit for that. And this is the uh, blue mist color of the Infinity Band. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not. It seems pretty nice. For an example, I do have last year's Lunar White Band. So you can just kind of see it is uh, definitely a bit of a blue shade or tint to it. And one nice thing is you can actually use any of the bands that were originally meant for the Fitbit Sense. So you can see here they are compatible. So you can just see if you prefer the lunar white color, for example, you could get that band instead. But I will go ahead and take that out of frame, put this back on, and show you what this looks like on my wrist. So this is the infinity band, and it takes a little bit of work to line that up and then to tuck this extra leftover portion back in. But once you do, it's very nice. So this is how the Blue Mist Infinity Band with the soft gold Fitbit Sense 2 looks on my wrist. So I have a approximately seven inch or 178 millimeter wrist size here. So you can compare that to yours. And the Sense does only come in one size unlike Apple Watch and Samsung and things like that. So this is what it looks like on my wrist. And if we wanted to uh, compare this to the original Sense, I actually have that here. So again, you can take off the bands. And so I have the Sense 2 here on my left and the original Sense on my right. And to me, I guess it is very slightly less tall and similar width, so very similar that way. Uh, you can compare the gold colors here. To my eye, it actually looks pretty similar, not a huge difference. You can see that the original Sense had that weird indented haptic button and we do now have the true physical button back on the Sense 2. And here is the back of each device. So there are some minor changes here. We do have a little bit of that plasticky casing on the back where it was metal here. And now we just have the metal here on this central portion. Otherwise the heart rate sensor looks the same to me. And then this is the other side, very similar, but we have some different arrangement of the microphone and speaker and altimeter holes. And you can see here, we no longer have this stainless steel ring that was around the original Fitbit Sense, which I thought actually kind of gives it a very nice look. I'm not sure if I will miss that or not, but I will let you know in my review if I do. And one other thing I'd like to do is to show off the Fitbit Versa 4 Copper Rose color. In case you were wondering or that is a big deal to you, this is the Fitbit Versa 4 and the Copper Rose color. And you can see how that compares to the Fitbit Sense 2's Soft Gold color. So otherwise the... Uh, the layout is exactly the same. This is how the back looks. So you can see we do not have that uh, 
extra metal here on the back because the Versa 4 does not have the ECG app capabilities. But the other side looks exactly the same as well. And one thing just to... I didn't note that you can see this is the original Sense and the Sense 2. And the Sense 2 is definitely thinner or more slim than the original Fitbit Sense. So that is a really great upgrade here as well. All right, so the next thing to know is you can turn on the device. Let me go ahead and put on another watch band option just so you can see this is the uh, nylon band that I really like. So it still looks good with this new Sense 2. And if you want to start your setup, the very first step here is to turn the display on. So you'll want to press and hold the physical button here on the left for a moment. So I felt a little vibration and now we see the Fitbit logo here on the screen. And it seems to be flashing. <laughs> that's new. I don't know if that's uh so interesting. I was going to say, I didn't think that was supposed to happen, so I'm not exactly sure what that means. It looks like it's maybe restarting here. Never had that happen to me with a Fitbit device before, so that was interesting. Okay, so it looks like it is okay now. I'm not sure what that initial thing was, but now we can start the setup process. You can choose your language. There are a number of languages to pick here, so that's good. So I'll go ahead and tap on English, and that's probably why. So I actually got 0% uh, on this Sense 2 that came straight out of the box. So I will need to charge this before starting the setup. But if you'd like to see me set this up in real time so you can follow along with your own device, I will be recording that video here shortly and I'll link it here at the end of the video. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more Fitbit Sense 2 videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.